Tennessee football begins fall camp on Tuesday and with the season rolling around some positions still needing to be decided upon. I spoke with our Vols insider and national college football writer for footballscoop.com John Bryce and we spoke about those positions. All right first one backup quarterback John what have you heard? Yeah, backup quarterback, all all indications are that Tennessee will lean directly on uh, much heralded five-star freshman Nico Iamealeva. Uh, they feel really good about Joe Milton. There's no question about Nico's talent, uh, but there's no substitution for collegiate experience. Everything moves faster, um, especially when you're a five-star quarterback at that position. And so, again, Tennessee is working with him, but that backup quarterback position is going to be, one, in my opinion, uh, and in talking with people in the program, one of the singular most important elements of fall camp. Let's talk about the defense right now. Uh, obviously, Byron Young no longer on the edge rushing, uh, you know, for the ball's defense, and they got to figure some guys that can get to the quarterback. And also, we're talking about the secondary. A lot of guys in that secondary, John. Well, who's going to step up is really the question, right? On the defensive line, obviously, uh, you've got guys like Tyler Barron, Bryson Eason, Omari Thomas, of course, and James Pierce. Let's not forget about James Pierce. Um, he's arguably the most explosive of that quartet of guys that I just mentioned. That's going to be a key because Tennessee feels really good about the depth it has at the linebacker position. Even though, obviously, Jeremy Banks is gone, they feel like, as a whole, it's a deeper, more versatile and athletic unit in the back end. And speaking with people within the program, yes, generating a defensive pass rush and getting those guys to step on the defensive line will be the best friend to that secondary, especially when younger guys are playing and still trying to accumulate some experience. But in visiting with people over the last 24, 48 hours, as you and I discussed doing this piece, um, it's very evident that there's a belief the younger players are going to be on the field in game situation sooner rather than later for the balls in the secondary. The balls will practice in fall camp for a little over a month and then will come that season opener against Virginia on September 2nd. Back to you all.